Question is from Kim and Lexi Adventures. Can you explain why fit people have a lower resting heart rate and why it's important? It's a muscle. <clears throat> you made it stronger by exercising it. You're, you're just more efficient. Yeah. Your, your body is utilizing the blood that it's pumping more efficiently. Um, so you don't. Your heart doesn't need to pump as much. Your your heart is also pumping more effectively. So yeah, more that's the goal blood. of the body. You know, there's some people that theorize that we are all born with a a maximum time that our heart will beat, like 100 trillion times. Oh, it only has like X amount of beats. Chinese medicine, right? There, yeah. There's mm. there, there's there's the people that theorize that each of us were born with this. You are you've got a hundred trillion beats, whatever. I'm just saying that for yeah. hypothetical reasons. That's what right? I always call it the ticker. Right? And by you strengthening your heart because it's a muscle, you can build it just like you could build the biceps and, and exercise it. And what Sal means by efficient, it just, it takes less pumps to like, let's say when you're unhealthy, your heart rate takes 60 pumps in a minute to circulate blood through the body. Well, if it's a really strong heart, it no longer takes 60, it takes 50 or 40. Yeah, well, 60 would be low to begin with. If you're unfit, yeah. you're right, probably- Right, right yeah, yeah. No, yeah. those are terrible numbers I'm using. But to get the point across is that you know you, you need you use X amount per minute, whatever you you're start with, the more you train it, the more efficient it becomes. And that really matters over time. You know, it's less that muscle has to work throughout the entire day. You may be, and you may think, well, well, that's weird. You elevate it though when you exercise. Well, yeah, you elevate it for an hour. It's a stress. Right. That yeah. causes an adaptation. Right. That makes it more efficient and makes it stronger. And then the rest of the time you're alive, your your, your body's more efficient with its utiliz utilization of blood and the oxygen and nutrients that are in blood. So when you're out of shape and you go up a flight of stairs and your heart doof, 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 beating, it's because your body ain't utilizing oxygen and blood very well. It needs to pump more and more. Yeah, it's crazy. I was training like cyclists and a couple of marathon runners and to try and stress them out and to try and get their heart rate to exceed, you know, whatever max output they had previously was really difficult. They're, they're, they were so efficient, uh, you know, at bringing that level down. Even once it rose up high, it came right back down. And so that's, I mean, the, the, the more you train it, you know, the more effective it gets. That's a very good point right there. That's another benefit that you get from training the heart really well is the recovery time, like, yes. right? So the like you, Sal increases. talked about walked up going like a, a person who's deconditioned, right? And we'll use better numbers now, like, you know, 75 or 80 beats per minute, their their heart beats to, right right now. They go upstairs and 120, it, 130. Yeah, it elevates yeah. to 120. And then for the next- it's hard to get it down. The next 20 minutes, it's still above 100 because, oh my God, the flight of stairs, whew, that was a lot. Yeah. And the heart's still pumping. Yeah. The person who's really conditioned, well, first of all, they're already starting at 45 or 50 beats. They go up the stairs. It only goes up to like 80 and then it recovers right back down within minutes. Mm -hmm. That right there. And then when you think about it over, you know, decades of your lifetime, you know, you, you now have saved so many, you know, pumps, you know, you're, if you think of your heart, like you're like an engine, like it's less miles that you're putting on that heart over time. And that's where I meant that. I know there's some people that theorize that you only get X amount of beats in your entire lifetime. One of the best ways to, you know, uh, uh, get that number to come down overall is by strengthening that's, it so it doesn't have to be... And that's mainly a Chinese... I believe it's Chinese medicine that says... That. I know Western medicine... I, I don't know of any studies that support that, but Chinese medicine does say that 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 specific thing that you just said, Adam. Have you guys ever worked with uh, deep divers uh, who don't use, like, no. equipment or uh -huh. whatever? Okay, so I've trained a couple... Uh, divers who that's what they do they do competitions yeah, where they, they don't wear hold their breath like four minutes yeah they Ab don't abalone divers do this yeah so they don't wear uh -huh. you know oxygen it's just a freaking snorkel and they go and dive the slowest heart heart rates you've ever measured in your entire life uh, as yeah. they're diving and holding their breath their heart rate just doof, doof, just slows way way down and it's the most efficient thing i've ever seen on a human being i actually mm. had somebody i trained years ago who competed that way and he was able to get his, he was like, his heartbeat got so slow, it was like a freaking dolphin. Like it was just, it wasn't even, it was, it was beating like, I don't remember, it was like something ridiculous, a super low number. Pretty amazing to be able to do that. Now, what are the benefits of that? Well, shit, man. You want to talk about stamina, uh, being able to maintain, you know, a, a, a nice moderate level of intensity for long periods of time. Right. You know, that has its own, you know, health benefits. And achieving that state of calm. Yeah, but, but at the end of the day, look, to answer this question, it's just, you're just more efficient. It's like, you know, you're going to use less energy doing something that you're good at than you will doing something you're not good at. And if you're not good at moving your body, your body is very inefficient at using energy. It's going to use a lot more of it.